This is the place where sports opinions collide. Dead end sports. I am one fifth of your host, BZ430. Um, another, you know, D Dead End Sports 365 video coming to y'all again with another one. Um, today, no, another quick video. Um, just want to talk about uh, Deion Sanders in Jackson State University. You know, Jackson State. You know, they landed another top prospect um, out of the hands of the. Well, I think he was either looking at Florida State, a couple of Florida schools. You know, um, but uh, Kevin Coleman. Kevin Coleman, the number four wide out in the country, I think number 44 overall uh, prospect in the country, uh, said he's going to be playing at Jackson State. He's taking his talents to Jackson State. And, um, you know, Deion Sanders out here landing him another big-time recruit, man. And he, he's It's really interesting seeing where this is going in the future. Um, a lot of these players are going to these HBCUs. I mean, and I like it. I think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I, think, I think it's dope as hell that – you know, this could we we are we might be witnessing the start of something, um, and we don't even know it. Um, Kevin Coleman he joins a list of prospects already. I think we was already known about the uh, Travis Hunter, um, the defensive back. That's uh, the big time defensive back. I think he was like number one or number two in the country, and he landed him. Um, also a Tennessee transfer, uh, uh, Mal- Malachi Whiteman. I think um, I think I'm pronouncing that name right. I can't remember if I am. I hope I'm not butchering that young man's name. But um yeah um so yeah it's just like it's it's really interesting are we are are we starting are we witnessing the start of something where you know a lot of these players now are going to HBCUs or is it just the lore of prime time Deion Sanders himself if is 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 he going to be still a lot more top recruits from some of these other you know PWI institutions you know such as you know the alabamas and the michigans and the texas and stuff like that like it's really going to be interesting to see how these next you know few years play and i know ken mentioned this in the text thread too if, if this happens it's going to be interesting how a lot of these are they going to come up with some rules some stimulations to try to you know cut Deion sanders off of making these moves because Deion sanders is out here he's not playing around i'm really impressed with the moves that he's doing now let's just see you know, if this is going to turn into wins or even more recognition, uh, you know, for the university, which I'm pretty sure it is because, I mean, it's already – by him signing these big – these top recruits, I think going into this upcoming – next the next season, the fall of this year, 2022, yeah, I mean, I can see some televised games, some more some more eyes going to be looked at. Now, if he can, if he can land, like, some more, like, top prospect quarterbacks and some big-time, like, running backs and stuff like that, man, it's, it's really going to be interesting. Or if they're going to go to other schools, that's another thing. Is like some of these other HBCUs are going to go to or go to these other prospects are going to go to these other HBCU uh, universities, man. So we we shall see. I don't know. Is it is this just like something hot right now because of prime time, or do y'all think this is the beginning of a trend that we might you know that we might be seeing starting up in, in college football? You know, um, you know, some people say no, nah, it's not. Some people think like this could be the start. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all thoughts? What y'all think? Um, and also too, real quick, um, Clay Thompson as a recording of this, Clay Thompson is, is making his first game back since June 9th, well, June 13th, 2019. Hell, that was pre-COVID. Clay Thompson hasn't played a full basketball game since pre-COVID. That's pretty insane. So good to see him back in the NBA, man. You know, it's always good when you see good players, one of the best shooters this game has ever seen. Um, back plan. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Hopefully nothing happens within the next couple of months. Hopefully he won't aggravate something else for overcompensating. So you know, good for Clay Thompson to be back, man. Hopefully now we if if he, if he can come back full healthy, now there's no excuse for Golden State. They they have full strength. They they was playing well before Clay, and if they can keep this up, if Clay can bring what Clay usually brings, then you know a lot of people are gonna have Golden State a lot for the NBA Finals this year. So it's gonna be real interesting. So yeah, Deion Sanders, Jackson State. Are we, are we seeing the beginning of a trend? Not. Is it just because of Deion Sanders? Or, you know, is this just, you know, is this because of prime, because of prime time and what prime time can bring to university, what players he can bring on to play, you know, to play for him. So really interesting, man. So what y'all thoughts on that? And, you know, like I said, shout out to Clay Thompson. He's back. And I hope y'all enjoy the rest of this almost second half of the NBA season like I am. Um, So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, let me know y'all thoughts about this about this whole the prospect sign to these HBCUs, man. Um, is it are you sold on this? Yeah, your name.
see y'all tomorrow. Don't know who it's going to be tomorrow. Might be me again. Might be Ken. Might be FIFO. But uh, appreciate you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that y'all really enjoying this content so far, man. I hope we're going to keep this pushing, keep this thing going strong. So we will see y'all. You will see one of us tomorrow. Peace out.